Hello, welcome everybody. So we're here today, gonna cook just some plain old mashed potatoes and chicken. So first I'm gonna start off with cleaning my potatoes. Always watch your veggies, you don't know what's on them. It could be gross. So next I like to um, peel my potatoes. Obviously these are really small and I'm afraid I'm going to chop off a finger so I don't peel it perfectly but that's okay. Also, if you grew up in a Latino family, obviously your mom cleans and cooks at the same time. So I've got the habit to doing that too. So next, I just like to get a pot of water and just get everything ready, cut my potatoes. I normally cut them like small to medium because I like everything to cook pretty fast. I don't have patience. <laughs> so, but there's Louis. <laughs> So this happens all the time. I can never choose which one I want to use. So I turn it on to high, add a little bit of salt, and I wait for it to cook. Boil, baby, boil. Right here, so I just get a pan for my chicken, add a little bit of oil, and put it at medium to low heat. My little mini chef is up, so we're gonna start cooking the chicken. I like to throw a little piece in there to start off, to see if it's ready. And then just stick as much as I possibly can. From there, I let it cook for seven to eight minutes on one side. And then add the hot sauce. I added a little bit too much, so I used the other chicken to like spread it around a little bit. thickest piece of chicken that I have on there, open it up and see if it's fully cooked, because then I know the other ones are too. potatoes I like to stick a fork in it and if it kind of falls apart it's pretty much done Normally when I put it back on the stove, I add a little bit of cheese, 
but in this situation, I didn't have any cheese, so I had to skip it. But add the cheese, it's really good. It looks like it's mini chef approved. Thank you for watching. Please enjoy.